17 minutes played. Johansson exchanges passes with Chair. And here's it, Elias Chair, the Moroccan international once again. 30 yards out, his shot. Oh, takes a deflection and goes in! It was a speculative effort from almost 30 yards from Elias Chair. And the deflection has taken it into the opposite post. Daniel Backman completely wrong-footed. Chao Pedro again on the right-hand touchline. Curls it forward looking for Semmer and Manai. And Manai is away here into the penalty area. Onto his right foot! And it's parried by Dieng. Might come to Semmer. Still there. Manai's there. Someone's lost the boot. I think it might be uh, Semmer, is it? Or one of the QPR defenders. And then looks to curl it forward for Semmer. Semmer in the centre forward position. Into the penalty area. Ken Semmer. He's on his right foot. Gaspar at the far post. Semmer scores! Ken Semmer with his first goal of the season! From Gaspar, I think he controlled it, was taking it on his right foot, managed to hold off the defender, check back onto his left foot, and when everybody might have expected power, he's just guided it into the far post, past the right foot of Dieng, and then in off the far post. Fabulous finish. And chair outside him on the right hand side. The game suddenly stretched. Laird making a run beyond him. It's Ethan Laird into the penalty area, cuts the ball back. It's Willock! It's 2 1 QPR! Chris Willock beats Backman down to his left. In their attack from QPR, it was a wonderful run from Laird. Terrific pull back and a really good finish from Willock. The ball chipped forward by Gaspar. Looked for Saar, who might have been offside. Goalkeeper heads it out of his area. And Pedro tries to lob him! Oh, and it bounces and hits the bar! And the other, Aspria wins it back. And Aspria comes away with it. And Aspria charges at the two centre-halves. And looks to play it inside. Dickey looking for Jao Pedro. Might come to Saar. So, oh, that's a handball in there. But Jao Pedro's put the ball in the back of the net anyway. The goal is given. It's Jao Pedro, who many didn't think would be here in a Watford shirt this afternoon, who levels things up for the Hornets. In front of the rookery end. Well, I'm not sure whether the referee was brilliant or clueless because it was a comedy of errors. Initially, a poor pass, a poor touch defensively. I thought Ismail Asar was going to tap it into an empty net. Attacking the edge of the penalty area, Pal overlapping. Here's Kenneth Pal. Here's Cross. Mrs. Johansson comes to a Doma. 3 2, Queen's Bar Rangers. Albert Adoma scores at Vicarage Road again. We just couldn't get back into the box and you get to the far post. There's three of them waiting to tap it in. There's nothing Daniel Batman can do about the finish. Willett picks up the loose ball and plays it inside Sierra Alta. Here's Chair for four. Batman made a fine save to keep Watford in it. Spread himself there, Daniel Batman. On the left-hand side, level with the edge of the penalty area. Still working hard, Jao Pedro leaves it for Semmer. Semmer's cross, too high for Saar. Headed away, it comes to Kayembe. Kayembe shots! But it won't count, the flag is up. It won't count, Edu Kayembe is denied. There was a man stood in front of the goalkeeper. The referee was very quick to spot it and indicate to his linesman that he should put his flag up. No VAR, of course, so the goal won't count. It was a fine strike from the edge of the penalty area for Medo Kayembe, who thought he had his first Watford goal and thought he dragged the scores level again. A Watford throw, but they're in their right back position, and the uh, five minutes of added time are up, and there is the full time whistle, and Watford are beaten for the first time this championship season. It's Queen's Park Rangers who spoil the Vicarage Road party once again. They were the last team to beat Watford in the championship.